All right, guys, this is our second uh, lesson for uh, learning Flutter Flow. And what we're going to do here right now, uh, we're going to find for us some Figma design that we can use in Flutter Flow. So open Figma.com and uh, if you are registered already in Figma, then you will get into this screen. If not, you will have to register. It's like very easy as you register in any other websites. Uh, so once you register, you get into this page. At the left uh, bottom side, you have Explore Community. Click on it. And here uh, you can easily find uh, what you need. But we're going to click on Mobile first. And then search for resources like Portfolio. We're going to write here uh, Marketplace. And uh, we are going to choose Free market uh, free designs all right and here now you can choose anything you want to we need like a mobile type uh, let's use this one nft nft marketplace uh, this is more something like nice beautiful i don't know uh, let's just use it we are not going to build of course uh, nft marketplace because nfts are now not like uh, People don't need NFTs anymore. They cost nothing, but we're going to use it anyway. So, and we are going to start uh, this lesson. We're going to build our onboarding screen, and next lessons we're going to build each of the screens step by step. Uh, let's start. Uh, let's get back to our application here or to our project. I'm going to delete everything. So on the home page, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete app bar as well. And on the login page, I'm going to delete app bar. And also everything is going to be like empty. And I'm going to turn off the nav bars on both uh, screens. All right. So uh, this lesson, we're going to go with the colors, with the colors and fonts and images. All right. Okay, so first of all, what we have to do, we have to set up all these colors for our uh, application. So go to your project and at the last second last uh, icon is saying like theme settings, open it and then you have colors, open colors, turn off your dark mode theme. We don't need it. It's going to like just uh, be very kind of. Uh, not gonna help us a lot seriously anyway uh, let's go to figma and let's start okay so as you can see our background over here it's dark all right so click on for example onboarding one or uh, or anywhere like try to choose this onboarding page and we have all these colors that are used in on this screen and here, here is saying like dark. Okay, click on that icon. So detach style. And now you can see what's the hex code for this uh, background. So we copy this one. So it's like control C or command C. And we go to flutter flow. Find our back primary background and secondary. We need primary background. Click on it and you can paste here and uh, just keep it RGB. No problem. Use color done. And this one, if you take this container, this bottom sheet that's here, also find detach the color. See it's saying gray, detach it, copy the, uh, the code here, go back and in your secondary background, you can paste it here and use color done. Then what we have, uh, we have discover, um, we have the text color. So it's totally white. Okay. So find our primary text color, make it totally white and yes. And our secondary color, I think is going to be, yeah, on the last page, that one gray light also detach it copy the color, go back and for your secondary text, 
paste the code here use ok right so then so the button color is always our primary color so as you can see here it says blue primary color so detach it copy your code go back and click on your primary paste it here use color uh, our secondary mm, we can use that one as a secondary so it's going to be like white detach it copy and paste here then what else we can use any other colors you can see here uh, because we need the third color so we have white we have blue and i don't see any other colors that we can use i think somewhere here that we can choose mm -hmm. so yeah you have to like go through everything and see what you can use for your colors mm, at the moment i don't see it but all right no problem uh, we're just gonna keep it like like that one okay so we have alternate color uh, what's alternate color so usually is something like that one okay and i just copy this one and paste it here so you can click on the code here and paste it here or you can click on the name of it and change the color here okay then what else we can use here uh, right i think that's it for now so we have accent colors and these ones we keep it as it is usually don't touch it and accent colors uh, as i can see here it's not used at all so here uh, so if you click on the canvas on the free space empty space you will see color styles and all the color styles are here danger success they're always the same same like year uh, yellow red green keep them as it is for accent colors what usually we do just copy for example primary color use uh, and paste it here plus you can decrease um, the opacity of it up to like 20 percentage like here you will see 20 percentage and use it for secondary same thing i copy this one paste it here and make it like 20 percent and tertiary i'm gonna keep it as it is no problem and accent four yep we're gonna keep it the same so let's go to typography and icons okay let's see what typography he is using here and if let's see how we can gilroy bolt so uh here it's saying like i clicked on that properties icon and we see gilroy bolt and i hope we do have gil roy glory no okay it's not here but usually we use lato roboto they're like very fine ones and all so don't really care uh so for icons and uh custom fonts easy we're gonna gonna cover it next lessons all right all right so uh we finished with the settings almost colors typography theme widgets we don't need this one this one like for later usage uh, you don't need it anymore at the moment for sure you don't need it so but what we can do we can go to settings the last icon and uh, app bar so add a bar on new pages we turned off all right uh, for the app bar color background color we use primary background color elevation we make it zero and for the arrow and everything else we can keep it the same right so um, we finished setting up the project uh, on the next lesson we're gonna start building our onboarding screen and download all the images uh, 
yeah but we can download them now i'm gonna show you very quickly so just click on the image hold shift and click on every image that you want to use okay and see here okay so for example this one is grouped which is a problem so we can double click on it and choosing the image only then with shift we can click on other images as well and that one we need as well so uh, at the right side you will see like export and make the export 2x to x and png and click on export five layers finished so right now i can click on this zip file uh, copy them and paste them here in my download for folders call it images and paste them here all right so then we go back to project uh, we go to media assets this is the icon the image icon click here and click on upload media okay so in downloads we have images and we can just open them all and see how this uploading so now it's uploaded see the problem that uh when you try to like double click it while you're like shifting it uh, it's not working very very properly yeah so this image we will delete it and we're gonna double click here export we can preview it and make it 2x and export image okay and upload the media go to downloads so here we have this image all right so see you next lesson enjoy your time using flutterflow bye bye